Um, today we want to talk about onions some. Um, you can tell, you can probably tell we have the camera tilted down so you can see the cutting board. Right. But did you want to tell them why they should eat onions? <sighs> I I put that you just away. read it. I know, it doesn't mean I remember it. No. So, um, Dr. Furman talks about G-bombs, and you know, she talks about greens and all these different things, but one of the things he recommends that you eat a lot of is onions. They're good for anti-cancer. Good morning, Allison. Morning, Allison. It's good Allison. to see you. My nose wants me to sneeze. And that also includes onions, scallions, um, leeks, <coughs> garlic, Excuse leeks. Me. I think there was one more, but those are the four that come to my mind. Right. But eating onions is, is you know, one of those things where it's like, oh, they make you cry. They're hard to eat. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the things I've learned since we started eating this way and I'm doing a lot more of chopping of onions. The first thing I can tell you is if you leave them, if you keep them in your refrigerator, they don't make you cry as badly. So that's the first thing I would say is put them in your refrigerator and then when you get them out, um, for whatever reason, you don't, you don't cry as much. And then when you get done, of course, wash your hands right away. Now, of course, probably today, because I told you that this one's going to make me cry. But <laughs> um, today I have a yellow onion I want to show you. But I want to talk to you about how to set up your cutting board. Um, you might notice, if you've ever seen any of my, my videos where I chop things, I have a towel underneath my cutting board. And the reason that I do is because I have these you know, plastic cutting boards. You can tell they're well-loved. Been had, had them a really long time um, and they slide when you cut using and I use a chef's knife you can tell this one is got the chefs where you rock it back and forth and so I rock my knives which means that I rotate it on the board and if I don't have a towel it slides which is really dangerous and I learned from a friend of mine who is a trained chef he said if you put a towel underneath it that won't happen because it creates more friction and so i always put just a, you know a regular kitchen towel again this is an old kitchen towel i just put it under there and it helps to keep it from um, sliding around she's a rocker i'm a chopper right and he needs a different kind of knife this is um, a chef's knife that you rock and the ones that are more square um, those are the ones that you chop with and he needs that kind of knife mm -hmm. we don't have one of those but he doesn't do that much cooking, I don't so do that much cooking anymore but so take your onion out of your out of the refrigerator just when you're ready to cut it, not before. And so it'll be cold and that'll help it help you not cry. And the thing you have to think about to make it really easy to dice is you have the end with the roots on it, which I don't know if you can really tell, but that's the root end. And then you have the end where the um, greens used to be where they, they chop them off. So you want to keep the root end intact. Don't cut that. Cut this end where the um, where the Flowering where the baby. flower, the greens, whatever, where they came out, cut that in. So you want to cut just the edge of it off like that. And then it should give you a rough edge like that and you can peel it, which I know this is going to be like the most di difficult one to peel because I'm trying to do it live. You want to talk and I'll peel? No, I, okay. you can talk. Oh, hello. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> talk about onions. Uh, uh, no, so I mean, it is a... Um, it's it's an anti-cancer. It's a cancer fighter. Car, it you know fights against the carcinogens, which is um, why they recommend that you eat them. And I know we read somewhere, and we tried to find it before this talk, but I can't. We'll have to keep looking at it. That they recommend you eat them raw, raw. or mm -hmm. as close to raw as possible, because when you cook them, you kind of uh, I guess take away some of the um, yeah. I mean, we do eat them cooked as well, right. so you can do that. What is she saying? Good morning from California. Hey, morning. Jillian, it's good to see you this morning. I, I'm trying to do this. Hey, Bridge. Bridge is here this good morning, morning too. Good morning, Bridge. Yeah. That's my cousin. Yes. I watch her lives about makeup. Yes, you do. Over in her. Uh, I've her seen group. those. I've seen All right, so I got it. I have it peeled now, so you can see I cut. Well, maybe you can't because it's really shiny. But I cut the end off of it, and then um, the onion, the root part is still intact. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it through the root. So I'm going to cut it this way through the root. Raw onions, yes, they're good for you. Yes, they're very good for you. Or raw scallions. I eat raw scallions. It does. Uh, it smells like scallions bit, for yeah, days. Yeah, that's a little bit too rough for Robin, but... Uh, so then you'll end up with you know, half of an onion with the root still intact. That's what you want. You need the root still intact. And then you're going to set it with this flat side that you've just cut. Set it flat side down like that. And then take your knife and you're going to cut stripes in it across it toward the root. So and how, how, much, how much you want it diced, like how big your dicing to be, is going to depend upon um, how far apart you make them. So if you want small dice, like you're gonna, maybe you're going to put it on your bean tacos or you want to put it in your burritos or something like that, you're going to put them close together. If you're um, chopping it to just throw it in some soup that you're going to later blend with your immersion blender, and if you're cooking it with peppers, because peppers take longer to cook, you're going to put them further apart because that's going to make them bigger. So I'll do this one little, and then I'll show you bigger on the other one. 
I usually do it in two halves. Some people go all the way through. I do two halves. So just chop it this way. And you can turn it, you can turn it towards you if that's more effective for you. And just chop it down. Whatever works for you. And I've, how many times have I shown you this? And do you ever remember? No. No. So once you do that, you're going to have, you probably can't see because the light's bad, but you're going to have stripes cut through it. And then you can cut across it this way and you can just rock it. Now, one thing I will tell you, especially if you're chopping red onions, the, um, this top layer right here can be slippery on red onions, which Jolyn asking. Yeah, that, uh, I did read that. That's actually part of one of the benefits is your, yep. um, your, your digestive They're track. really good for you. Yeah. Um, so you're going to chop across, but like I said, on red onions, this very top layer can be slippery. It can slip back. So when you're holding onto it, don't hold your fingers like this. Because if your knife slides, that's gonna gonna hurt. It's a trip to the emergency. Right. Yeah. So hold your fingers like put your fingernails against it and tilt your knife just ever so slightly away from you what you're chopping like that. And that way, if it slides, the butt of the knife right here hits your knuckles and no no harm done. So you have no problem. So you just do it like that. And I don't know if you could, if you'll be able to see them, but because of the way onions are, you end up with these really nice little diced pieces of onion because of the layers of the onion and you chop through them so you get that let me show you this one a little bit bigger so when i do for soups i do them like big chunks right so i did this one pretty little so we would i would use this for like to eat them raw on on something Salads salad or, or whatever or, um... and you can chop them and leave them if you, like this for a couple of days in the fridge as long as they're in an airtight container i just decided what's going on my uh chili later. yeah you can put this on your chili later yeah, absolutely but if you do them bigger then you end up with pieces that are more like this size if you do them if you do them bigger and let, i've been messing with this now for how long and, and it's not making my eyes run yet so that's because it was in the fridge and it was cold but that's how you do it and then when you, you just chop it and you can store it like this, like just ch stick it in the um, refrigerator like that and use it. Or you can just chop it up and, and use it um, as you need it. As you need it. Yeah. So whatever you want. I like to chop them smaller than bigger. That's the way I do it. And I like red onions, especially um, if I'm going to eat them raw. I like red onions on salads. Green onions are great. Yeah, scallions. I don't know about, yeah, chives, I'm not sure. I don't think it said chives in the uh, They're article, similar, but... but I don't think they're as much. Right. Um, as much. Right. But again, the th thing I want you to remember most about this is when you chop across it, make sure you hold your fingers curled and you angle the knife ever so slightly away from you. So that if it slides, because if you, and especially like I said on red onions, this top layer for whatever reason can get slippery and your knife might slide back, you end up bumping your knuckles with the back of the knife rather than having the sharp part of it um, come into your fingers. You definitely don't want that to happen. So you'll do that and then when you get to the edge where you, because I only do it half and half, you can then put more slices in and then finish it up. And I'm going to make a mess because I'm trying to do it in a hurry. But take your time when you're first trying to do it. But I wanted to show you when you get to the end, and now I have a pile of onions. That's a lot of onions. It is. It was a big onion. This yellow onion was a big. But when you get to the end, you're going to have this little piece of onion left. You can throw it away if you like. Um, my cousin will know, will say, because we're Dutch, we never throw it away. <laughs> um, so I just take it and chop it this way close. And again, make sure you keep your fingers on the root and keep your knife angled, the sharp blade away from you. And then you end up with just this little piece. And that gets compost. Uh, we put in the compost. Right. So that's the, the big, two big tips. Um, yep. You, I'm sure, yes, cutting onions can be really dangerous. If you don't I don't like knives, she'll tell you. He I, doesn't. I don't, I, if a knife is sitting like on the board, I always move it so it's flat and has no rocking motion to it. Yeah, it makes it I nervous. I am not a fan of knives. But onions are great for you, and we find we are more likely to eat them if we keep them chopped in the refrigerator. Um, I do put them in everything. I'm going to talk to you uh, later this week about the base for basically every casserole, every She's soup. She's going to say it. She said it. Everything, <laughs> everything I make, I'm going to tell you about the base, and one of the things we put in is onions. Right. So I'll be talking about that um, maybe tomorrow. Well, I'll share kind of the base I keep and the, the vegetables I cook up and keep either in the freezer or I make every single time we make something. But that's a really easy um, way to chop onions. I learned that um, just through osmosis of having t the TV on my ex used to watch a lot of cooking <laughs> shows 
and I learned how to do that and I love it. It's a great easy way to chop onions, um, keep them in the fridge. That's really, really great. Um, you're making it look easy. They are, it is easy when you know how to do it and if you keep them in the fridge and they don't make you cry, you're much more likely um, to, to eat them. Right. So that's what I recommend. I like um, red onions and white onions, the Vidalia onions to eat raw. Yellow onions like this one are stronger Soup. and I usually, I cook with Soup. them. That's what I do. And you can cut shallots the same way. Um, you can't cut garlic this way because garlic isn't layered like this. It doesn't work. So I use my, uh, my we food, have a mini food processor. A little food processor for garlic. For garlic so. We got that garlic. Um, do you have anything else you want to add about onions? No, I think that's it. All right. If you guys have questions or if you maybe if you want me to do another video where I actually like zoom in more so you can see what I'm doing better. If you don't feel like you understand what I did, let me know and I can create one with the camera where I just zoom in on the yeah. onion and, and try it again. And I think what I'll do is I'll pull up that article about, you know, onions in particular and I'll just put it in the community page. For those that are a member, you'll see um, I'll put it about onions on there, what the benefits are and... You know, the, yeah, can the cancer fighting stuff. It's you know it's only a couple of paragraphs, not very long. So, so that'll be on the on the Whole Food Muscle Club community page. Right. And for those of you who are members of the Whole Food Muscle Club, we're doing our live Q and A uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night seven at seven p.m. Uh, Eastern. So make sure that you uh, join us and you're ready for that. Um, at, bring your questions, email us, or bring them you know directly, and we'll have a chat. Um, tomorrow about anything you want to talk about that's right. and uh, whatever. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? I think that's it. Onions, garlic, eat them raw. They're very, very good right. for scallions. you. Scallions. He loves scallions. He eats them like... She's actually never seen anybody eat a scallion. I've never seen just anyone by, like just bite off a scallion. I'm like, what do you mean? That's how I've eaten my whole life. I thought you'd chop them up and like use them as a garnish. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way I do it. Exactly. So I think we're done. Let's go eat oatmeal. Let's go eat oatmeal. Not onions. Not onions. Onions later. So with that, we'll say eat real food. Mostly, Mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.